In the last episode of Minecraft Hider Hunt, we raided an absolutely insane base and got a ton of loot. Now, with raiding on the server, you gotta remember that you gotta then take it home. So today's journey starts off with me on my way home from that raid that we did yesterday. But I'm excited to get back because I wanna see what work has been done with the base. But today I discovered something in the middle of nowhere. 20 thousand blocks out oh my god so after that long run i finally made it back i was really nervous i was gonna fall in the hole or get found or get killed it's nerve-wracking when you're running with a load of stuff like you need to make sure you get it back home otherwise it's been a waste of time <gasps> Whoa, okay, work has been done, or is getting done. So the HQ is getting started on, and it's already looking pretty nice. We agreed that we wanted to use stone brick and, like, and dark oak, because it looks nice. Ooh, buildy stuff. All right, let's deposit everything we got, because we got some good stuff here. Now, we have brewing stands as well that we got from Raid, which is insane, because that saves us one trip that we don't have to do. And that's basically running all the way to pink outpost, I believe. No, sorry, orange. Right, so this is all organized, so I need to make sure that I keep this organized. I'm really bad for that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try things to put in your mouth. Oh, okay. Um, so lovely stuff. Okay, so all this stuff is surely classed as lovely stuff. We've got three saddles. One of these is leeches. So I got to make sure that I give this back to me. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Thank you for letting me borrow your saddle. Thanks for the complete trust. Now, I'm going to take one of these saddles. I'm going to claim one of them as mine. I raided it. I can, I guess. And there's one spare. And I need a saddle really bad. I need a horse. I actually need to go get a horse and, like, find a fast one and then hide it. We've also got farmer's backpacks, grinder backpacks. Like, this is absolutely sick. They only store 320, but I think there are more that you can get that hold more. Yeah, this grinder's backpack, for some reason, holds 640 mob loot, which I, if, I, I see a lot of people don't understand how to use them, so i probably show that in a bit when I'm actually using it. But it's very handy for not filling up your inventory, so you can still run with a lot more stuff as well. Saves your room. Right, so is this class as nice stuff, like this stuff here? Yeah, this would definitely be class as nice stuff. Because you can't really get these that that easy. Good ores. Okay, that can go in there. Now, we did raid a load of pickaxes. A load of really good ones as well. I see efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, fortune 3. I'm going to swap that out from my one, which is only efficiency 2. And look, there's another one here. It's absolutely insane, the amount of them. Oh, this one's a silt touch. Now, I'll go for the fortune. Silt touch is handy, though, I will admit. Even though I just got back to the base and after running, like, like literally a ton of blocks i'm not gonna say the amount because like i don't really want like someone like trying to track us down even though like we're really like i hope we don't get found that fast but chances are we probably will but that's the aim of the game it's not like i have to go gen a thousand wall base you know it's just you just make something like this again it's cool it's fun and it's it's not like you have to do it. It's just when you're bored. Right, so I know I've just came back anyway, but I'm leaving the base. I'm leaving with a strength pot, though, and a speed pot. So, and a few pots. So, I I'm feeling pretty confident if I run into someone. Actually, why do I have two shovels? That's not really needed. But the reason why we are heading out, um, or I'm heading out again, is because I do want to find myself a horse and go um, stick it somewhere safe so that I know exactly where it is. And hopefully no one steals it. Okay, so after running blooming miles to find horses, like when you need a horse, you can't find them. When you don't need a horse, they're everywhere. Right, so what one do I like? I'm gonna call... You look nice. I like you because you have white little spots. I'm gonna call you Betsy. How you doing, Betsy? Bye. Okay, so I am hopefully you'll like me and we'll be best of friends and hopefully you're speedy. Don't kick me off. Come on. Come love me, please. <laughs> Right, there we go. Right, so you are my guy. We are best of friends. Betsy and I, horse one of the map. We will not be, I hopefully, you will not be dying and I will not lose you. Um, chances are I'm probably only going to keep you for episode one. But how do I put my saddle on you now? It's just R, isn't it? Betsy, like, will you let me put my saddle on? Oh, it's E. What am I doing? <laughs> you can tell I haven't played from Minecraft in a while. All right, are you fast? Betsy, you know what? You're fast enough. Can you jump high? Oh my god, this is a good horse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right, yeah, I'm happy with this horse. So I had to run absolutely miles to find this. But we got him. So this right here is the tunnel system that we're working on. It's a good bit away from our base, because obviously you don't want it too close so that if people find it, you know, they don't just find our base next to it. But what we can use these for is that we can get our horses down here and we can just cruise on through super fast. Because obviously going cross 
country with a horse is like it's fast sometimes when you go across the right biomes but obviously if you don't and you go into like a forest it's super awkward and you just get stuck you have to kind of get in the trees or, or walk that's essentially it so i'm gonna do something a little bit useful and you never know we might get a raid out of it imagine if we mined into someone's base that'll be absolutely sick but the chance of that are very very slim but i'm gonna help the team out and also like i'll get ores and stuff from it potentially I just want to be helpful. Basically, I'm going to go get all the way down and I'm going to continue digging it out, essentially. Because I really want this tunnel to be done. It'll be so good. So after doing a little bit of mining and digging out the tunnel a little bit more for the faction, I decided to go on a random adventure because I got a brainwave. I want to search at the border because, like, people love to build at the border. In factions, when we do the mini game Hide or Hunt show, it's just a hot spot and it's really far out. So I'm on my way. Oh, I see life. I see wood, and that is not natural wood. Oh my god, oh, we're at the border. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's actually something here. Is there something in the sky as well? I can see that. Hang on, hang on, all right. Um, basically what I'm doing is, I, I'm far out, right? I'm super far out, so if I die, like I'm going back to spawn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I need to park my horse somewhere where I'm going to remember that he is parked. So I'm gonna say straight in front of here. Okay, horse. You're gonna stay right here, okay? Don't walk off, I'm not burying you, I'm not doing anything, I'm just super excited. I see wheat and I see pumpkins, fully grown. Cobble, has this been found already? I don't know, if it was found, surely the farm would be destroyed. Potentially. Someone's built something at the border. <laughs> no way. Okay, I say every border probably has something interesting. Now, I'm being careful just in case there is a guy around here. I don't wanna get killed, let me go on top of the trees. What have we got here? Oh my god, he's got like a little... Is it a wooden road? Oh, well, it looks like the start of a wooden road. Or oh, is it a tree base? Oh! <gasps> what is this? Okay, it looks like a, it looks like he's getting started on like a wooden road slash like tree network, which is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. He's got something up there. I don't know if he's trying to hide maybe stuff up there, which is kind of cheeky, but... If he made it out of glass, maybe it would have been more see-through or something? He's got a diving board! <gasps> I say he because I don't know. Oh my god, this is actually a base. Someone's built. I, I I think this guy might be confused. This guy might be confused. This is not factions. Is there genuine? Has this been found or is there genuinely stuff here? There is actually stuff. What is this guy doing? Honestly, wait a second. Pokemon. Wait 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 wait. Okay, Pokemon. So I found a death note from Pokemon, which I believe is the guy who potentially lives here because it's created by dying fall. So he fell from fall damage. So there's a bank note here for $21,000. Now the reason why he hasn't redeemed it is because he hasn't went to the shop to go to the basically the bank guy who converts these into actual cash. So I think we just found the person who lives here uh, or one of the people and he is not online. But there's iron ingots. There's stuff. <gasps> no! So after dying to that embarrassing death, which I believe Pokemon probably died from too, and he collected the benefits, Pokemon probably doesn't even own the base, I basically crafted Iron Armor as fast as I could, took two stacks of steak, and legged it. I'm going back there. I need to get Betsy. I want to raid that base now, and I want my stuff back. Okay, I see the corner. We've made it. We just got to make sure we don't fall down any rogue holes. <laughs> I thought there was a ladder there. Like, honestly, I just assumed I just saw the hole right next there. I saw the bed as well. I don't know if that was a trap, but then again, if it was, maybe Pokemon uh, or the, the, the banknote that we found, maybe that was from someone else actually finding the base, traveling that far. And then dying and then never returning. Now, I've made it back. It, it's been about uh, probably about half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay, ground items will clear in two minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here outside the chunk for two minutes. And then I'm going to go back and hope, 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 hope that my stuff is there. Two minutes, like once clear like happens, I should have enough time to get back there. It's probably been cleared, let's be real. But I'm just going to hope. I'm just going to hope. And I hope this raid is worth it. 
Okay, so items have been cleared. So anyway, if I go back there and my stuff is gone, that's fine. I still had to come back for Betsy anyway. And also, I wanted to come back because I never got a chance to fully look around the base. I died way too early, so I knew the curiosity was killing me that I had to come back. And that's the whole fun, addictive part of the server. It's an adventure server. When you, like, go out and you go on an adventure, like, that risk-reward, if you die, you die. Like, really, if the base wasn't, if this base wasn't close enough... No spoilers to where my base is. I probably wouldn't have went back. I don't know. Maybe I would have eventually, but in no rush. All right. Come on, come on, come on. I've got some sticks. I'm going to take some iron. I have no idea if someone else is here now or online. Maybe even grab my stuff. So I just literally put some iron armor on, grab some food, and ran. That's it. Like, honestly, so if some guy's here, like, I'm not even ready to fight anymore. So I'm just going to have to run. Hello. I am back, base. Anyone here? I have no time to be... Oh, my God. Is this my stuff? Did it accidentally spawn on top of the surface as well? Okay. Right. I'm making an... Uh, this is giving me a lot of hope. Or there's another guy here. Don't fall down. Okay. We're going to break this. And we're going to dig down. But like, whoever built this trap... I'm going to assume it's a trap. They got me good. Please say my stuff is down there. Is anyone here? I'm... <gasps> okay. Okay. I'm so nervous. I don't want to go back spawn. And you might be like, oh, sleep in the bed. No, I'd rather go back to my base if I die. You know what I mean? Not here. This is like in the middle of nowhere. Even though this is, this is the wild west. Okay. Moment of truth. We've made it down. It should be around this corner here. Is my stuff here? Or is it cleared? It's cleared. Oh my god. Okay, well, <laughs> I can see why this guy maybe wanted to make a fall trap right by his chest. We've got spawners here. We've got spawner wrenches. I'm so sad my stuff is gone, but look, it, it's fine. It's, like, I got some of it. I got, but I, this is technically mine. This is, this is mine. So where's the rest of the stuff? Is it here somewhere? Just glitched out? Hang on, maybe it's on the surface. Okay, we've got still touch one books. I'm not going to take any of them because we have quite a few books at home. All right, let's make our way back up. Okay, so sadly, it looks like I lost half my stuff. So I lost about 40k. I lost a 28, 21k banknote. So what have we got in here? We've got bottles of enchanting, which I might as well use up. Why not? Let's raid these bottles of enchanting. Might as well. I think I had about 36 levels on me as well. That's such a shame. But hey, that is the risk reward. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? First things first. I'm blocking up that. No way am I falling down it. Okay, gold ingots I'm taking. Uh, we'll take the iron. We'll take the gold. Actually, we might as well smelt the gold ore down. Has he got coal in here somewhere? Please say he does. Where's all your coal, buddy? Now, we're gonna farm the farms. Now, I'm gonna be nice. I'm not the type of person, really, who likes to pop chests or anything like that. I like to raid at what I what he has, but I'm not gonna pop chests because you never know if the guy might continue to live here, uh, even though this is a one special case where the guy might. But the farm, for example, some people want to keep them, some people want to destroy them, but I like to replant them because if you're ever around this area, you can go, oh, I think I know where a farm is, that you might be in desperate need of food. So sometimes it's handy. Now, I'm firing this because I'm trying to get the wheat from it. I'm going to put all the wheat I get into this thing right here. I just love it though. Like this guy is just like, this guy is goals. He's just living the dream out in, no, out in the middle of nowhere. Like has a little pool. <laughs> He's just like, it's just funny. It's like he probably hasn't seen civilization for like probably since the whole map. <laughs> He's like, if he came online right now, he'd be like, ooh, who are you? <laughs> probably wouldn't even know how to speak English anymore. <laughs> But anyway, let me show you how this works. So I, it's not full yet, but it might be soon. So these things right here, um, I kind of understand how they work. So first thing you gotta got do is you gotta assign what it wants. So you double click right there. So now it knows it needs to store wheat. And then I think you shift, right click, and then that puts the wheat inside it. So there you can go. You can see that there's 142 wheat inside here. And then if you want it back out, you shift, left click, and it'll all come out. So basically, Nice and compact, saves you space, but this one only stores 320. Oh, I've just saw a ladder. I've just found a ladder. Hang on. I'm going to replant this though and be a nice guy. <laughs> Is this a trap? No, it's not a trap anyway. I, I, don't, I don't see a massive deep hole. And there's ladders, which is the main thing that we're looking for. What is down here? Oh, hello. Okay, I'm really being careful. Okay, we've got more storage. Oh, okay. Um, right, we've got more spawners. We've got a beef location. Oh, look, I found some coal. Um, I will grab that because I think I'll need that for the gold. Because I'm currently smelting it with wood right now. Right, so this guy done a bad thing right now. So if you have a base, okay, make sure you really do well to hide your spawner wrenches or try avoid having spawner wrenches in your base and only keep them on your person. Because if they come like me, 
I didn't come with a spawner wrench, and I really should have, even though I was coming back for the raid again. Uh, basically, this could be the difference between your spawners getting raided or not, but these are what you need to mine spawners. You gotta basically stand there for 10 seconds as it mines, and this has 20 charges, so I've got enough, and I've got three spawner wrenches in total as well, so this is pretty good. So I'm getting more cow spawners here. But there we go. So we got all three of the spawners. You know what? This guy is in absolute mood. I feel like it. He can keep one spawner. One spawner. <gasps> oh my god, there's a hopper down there. Do you know how... Like, this is... I love the server. Do you know how rare hoppers are? Well, not rare. But if I go to slash landmark, you can only get hoppers from one place. Uh, which is the red outpost. Which is really, really, really far away. And I see hoppers down there, so sorry, I might have left him a spawner, but I'll tell you this, I'm not leaving him a hopper. I'm taking that hopper. How do you get down there? Oh my god, this base keeps on giving. <gasps> Here we go. I need to be careful. Need to be careful. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Okay, we got a sign. Oh no, it's a, it's a torch. Dude, why do I feel like a trap could be here? Like, why do I feel it? Wait, has this guy bought a load of hoppers? <gasps> dude, 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 dude. Oh, this is where I fell. This is, this is the tunnel where I fell and died. So maybe my stuff could be here. Hello? Is there only one hopper? It is. Oh my god. I'm just gonna have to say sorry I took your hopper. I'm just... I'm sorry. Like, this is... Do you know what? I'll give him a trade. <laughs> I don't know. At the moment, I just feel like a hopper is way better than a spawner. Like, it's pretty rare. Okay, we need one. So he's keeping two spawners. Why am I being nice? I don't know. Because this guy is an absolute, like... It's just... Just an absolute legend living out here. It's just funny. Okay, there could be secret chests around here. I'm not entirely sure where they could be, though. They could be anywhere. I just want to know if I've explored this whole base yet or not. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy complete mercy. I will not, since he's not here and he's not trying to, he's, he's not online or not home. I'm not going to destroy his bed. I'm going to be really nice to him. Um, Like, this guy seems friendly. Yeah, I'm raiding him because why wouldn't I be? I've traveled for this. Like, I put my time in. I can't be picky about my raids. No way. Like, I'm just wondering now, like, is there more around here? Betsy, I still hope you're over there. Like, is there more here? Like, look, you can see the guy's been digging out something here. Or maybe someone else already found this person and he's already bounced back from it. Maybe explaining the randomness of the base. But I need to wait for more of this to sell just to get this full because I want that full. It might as well be full. Okay, 11 gold blocks, 48 redstone and 8 iron blocks. Okay, we got a hopper. I need to bring that home. That's so good. That is honestly so, so good. I think the hoppers, I can't remember how much they're worth, but they're worth a lot of money as well. Now, is my horse still here? Because I'm going to be sad if he's not. Betsy, please don't be gone. Because honestly, if you're gone, it's going to take ages to get back again. I swear I parked him over here or her or whatever. Okay, now I'm getting scared. Like, I'm almost certain this is where I left the poor horse and now it's gone. Like, did it clear lag? I don't know if it's... I thought, like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. How am I forgetting about that? Okay, I need to go up and check that, but that's so risky. Like, if I fall, I'm going to die. Um, oh, no, Betsy's gone. Betsy's definitely gone. I told you I'd only have him for one episode. I'm just hoping maybe that the horse wandered a little bit and that it's just, like, over here. You know what I mean? Please? Oh, there you go. Betsy, how are you doing? You're here. Yes, you did actually wander quite a bit. I thought you wouldn't wander if we were like, if if you if I left the chunk, but no, we're good. Betsy. Okay, right. Betsy, I'm bringing you over here. Oh, no, don't drown. Right, we're going to actually do a bit of climbing. I for completely, there is no reason why you'd have that unless there was chests up there. So I'm actually super excited now. I completely forgot about that. I don't see any chests. This was a waste of time, was it? <gasps> oh. Okay, nice and slow, Ryan. You're shifting, correct? Yes, you are. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay, you've managed to make it up alive. And there is absolutely nothing up here. Now, we're going to go all the way to the tippy top, just to double check that there's no sky base up here. No, there is not. Okay, now this is where I play the dangerous game. So I'm going to try shift all the way over. And I'm going to try fall into the water down there. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> if I make one little fatal mistake here. Oh. Okay, yeah. That looks good, right? Yeah. <laughs> if I fall down and die, like my career is over. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
All right, no sky base up here. No, two chests were empty. Why? <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, 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 okay. We good, we good, we good, we good. Okay, we good. Just, just nervous, you know, just nervous. All right, um, so farm, please grow faster and then we can leave. Okay, Betsy, we can leave then. I don't think there's anything else here. If there is a secret chest, like, the only obvious place I can think of secret chest would be, like, simple places like this. But, like, yeah, I'll have a look around while it's growing, but I don't think I'm going to find anything. If I had my pickaxe and shovel and stuff, it'd be a lot easier. All right, so, basically, I've got my farmer's backpack up to 316. I, well, I might as well finish it off, in fairness. But I was going to say, I'm kind of getting a bit nervous. I do want to get out of here because I was kind of freaked myself out. Because I've realized the guy has a lot... Whoever lives here, the team or the guy or the woman, whatever. But the person has a lot of spawners. The person has a hopper. It means that this person has been investing time. So, chances are, if this person logs online, he'll probably be farly superior, like, geared-wise to me. You know what I mean? I'm just wearing this. <laughs> Hi, I've lost everything, like, when it comes to gear. I've lost- I lost a sharp four on breaking fire spec two sword. R.I.P, man. That is the- the- I guess the beauty of the server, though, like, it's a new life every life. <laughs> new gear. <laughs> but there we go. That's filled up with, uh, 320, so we can take that to the shop. It's nice and full. It won't make us a ton of money, but I thought it might as well. Right, let's get out of here. I did have a little look around to see was there maybe any other secret chest, but it wasn't. But this has been a mighty adventure.